Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to do something that is very useful. It's useful not only for video production work, you can use these for other uses where you need to hold things down. So these are going to be sandbags. These I got from Amazon, four of them for $18, heavy duty sandbags. And here I've got sand, Home Depot. Now this one says it's paper based, but it's sand is sand. All you need is the weight and the sand. So we got that. And this was about $5 at Home Depot. And this is a very simple thing to do. I'm just gonna open this, take the sand, and carefully put it into the sandbags. So let me show you these sandbags. So it has two compartments. And as you can see, usually you lay it down and it holds something down with all the weight on both sides. And it gives it weight, usually on like tripod legs or light legs or something like that. And it also has these handles here so you can carry it when you're on a job. You carry a few of them. Well, if you're strong enough. So let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm gonna open up the zipper. See, there's a zipper there. I'm gonna zip it. But you'll notice, and you'll also see it also has another zipper under there to hold back that dirty, dirty sand so it doesn't get all over your set and your cameras and all that stuff. So there is the space right there that the sand is gonna go into. All right, so that's opened up, ready to receive some sand. I got this to help me pour the sand into the sandbag and hopefully it works. So let's, so let's go ahead and open this sand bag to get the sand out of the sandbag. And to be honest, I know that I don't need this much sand. This is too much sand, but it was $5 and it's the smallest size they had. So let's see how much sand I have left. Some run-of-the-mill sand. Paper sand though. It doesn't have to be paper sand, but just any sand, right? You can even go to the beach and put sand from there. I've seen it before. I actually also was on a shoot where people bought like dumbbell weights and they use those. So let's just hold it open like that. Pour it in. There's number one. That's number one. Looks like it can use two or three more. All right, number two. So yeah, I can use two more. Here's how it looks so far after two. It's around that full. So I think after that much, I think that's full enough for this one side. So that's around three of those large cups that makes it this full. So I close the first zipper, close the second zipper, make sure to close them all the way or else the sand will get everywhere. That would suck. Close it all the way. One, two. Close it all the way. So that sandbag is half done. And yeah, that's that's gonna be a good amount of weight. I'm not doing this very scientifically. I don't have a weight here so I can measure how much is gonna go at the end, but you know, you get the picture. They designed it to have that much sand and you just fill it up. Would have to be totally full. Feels good. Next side. Just open up both zippers. One, two. Now you're bound to have a little bit of sand get all over the place, but we're trying to minimize that. I don't like cleaning this stuff. So I'm trying to make as little mess as possible. All right, so I can use one more. I'm gonna use one more cup. Yeah, I filled this side up more than the other side. Here's how, so that was, that other side was nearly three, but this is three. And it's all the way up to the rim, it's pretty full. We don't need any more than that, I think. So 
So I'll close zip number one. Close it all the way, all the way. Zip number two, close it all the way. Now this feels like a sandbag, this works. This is a proper, looks like it's heavy duty, it's strong. This won't break, this, the, the handle won't break. This is good. That is how you make yourself a sandbag. First you buy it and then you put sand in it. Genius. Have a nice day y'all. Subscribe and like please.